he had no other option and I really suspect that this was Kayani's uh, job <laughs> so, <laughs> and he achieved that he became for the second emergency Musharraf had to you know do away with his uh, uniform and hand over that uh, small baton to Mr. Kayani <laughs> who became so actually Kayani succeeded and Chaudhary succeeded to you know come back as the chief justice but the people succeeded. I don't feel the fear of the army because I have seen four dictatorships and I can tell you when there is martial law, you are really scared. So I don't feel that fear of the army anymore. So, I mean, at this age when I'm really old. So, so I'm very happy with some of the outcomes of that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Your kind permission, uh, I have a couple of observations just to clarify that. Um, if you allow me, yes, um, very briefly. Um, Munir Malik Sahab actually uh, wrote uh, two or three uh, articles soon after the restoration in July 2007, in which he, oh, yes, there is a book as well, and he, uh, you know, uh, um, tried to uh, articulate the ideological basis of the movement. And it, you, you must be remembering that. And in which he clearly uh, you know, stated the aims and purposes of the movement. And one of the aims was the restoration of democracy and the uh, rule of law. And uh, he also talked about independence of judiciary and uh, you know, supremacy of constitution, just as the Chief Justice did. Um, I am uh, uh, not sure if uh, those um, goals have been pursued after the restoration of the judges. Uh, I have the highest um, uh, order of respect for uh, Munir Malik Saab. Actually, uh, during the movement, I got printed 5,000 posters of his picture with a uh, you know, couple from Fazim al Fazim. So, um, uh, I, I am just wondering, where did all these progressive lawyers went after the so-called success of restoration of democracy and rule of law and the uh, restoration of judges? They have been quiet all these years while the judiciary has been exceeding its limits. And when I say exceed limits, it means that they have been doing things which the constitution doesn't allow them to do. Uh, I mean, the latest example is the setting up of uh, an earlier date for the election to the president's office uh, as opposed to the decision made by the election commission of Pakistan which is an independent body under the constitution of Pakistan and the Supreme Court has absolutely no mandate under the constitution to uh, change the date of an election. This is simply uh, not understandable. So where is the rule of law? Where is the supremacy of the constitution? Um, and, and it hurt uh, the political interests of many parties in the parliament. Um, I am, well, while I recognize the fact that they, uh, the labor uh, unions and associations passed resolutions, but they didn't really come out in the street. I didn't see that while the movement was going on. So with these observations, I will end. Thank you very much. Thank you, all of you, for sparkling presentation, I must say. Just when we thought we had our best presentations over, we have a sparkling presentation. And thank you all for this uh, for this session. Uh, we are on track. We'll have tea in, uh, immediately after this. Prashant will reach in about five or ten minutes. For those of you who don't know Prashant Bhushan, he's, I think, India's foremost public interest lawyer and campaigner and so on. So he'll be here in ten minutes. It's a thirty-minute talk that he will give. But I think you will enjoy him because he will tell you about some of the developments. And I know you are very tired. And I've heard a lot of complaints about how long the session is going. So bear with us for a little while more. It's been an excellent session. Uh, even if I, as an organization, will say, you know, it's been an excellent session, not because of us, because of all the participants. And we do the certificate uh, uh, distribution after that, and then we we'll call it a day. Tea is outside. Thank you, Justice Ganguly, Hassan, and Karamat for, for this excellent, excellent session. Tea is outside, and then we come back quickly for a half an hour session.